a chaotic game at the Molineux, but it's Chelsea who emerged victorious, the most unlikeliest of fashion, with Enzo Maresan getting his first win in the EPL and Noni Madweke being the star of the show. Join me as we dissect the events that went down at the Molineux. Nicola Jackson sets the tone for Chelsea as to be rewarded with the fast start in the opening two minutes. After the goal, Chelsea lost focus, especially at the middle of the pack, with Mario Lemina and Matteo Skrina winning duels on several locations at the middle of the pack. Chelsea then began to play with fear, especially with the Wolves fans backing their team with loud support. The physicality of Joao Gomez, Mario Lemina and Matteo Skrina in the middle of the pack seemed to overwhelm Malo Gusto and Moises Caicedo. It sometimes forced Enzo Fernandez to drop deep to the midfield to receive the ball and dictate play. Moises Caicedo had a poor game, especially in the first half as he gave the ball away on countless occasions and one time he was punished when he was overpowered and dispossessed by Aignori, leading to Wolves getting the equalizer through Matteo Skrinner. From there onward, both teams lost control of the game as it became end-to-end. -end. This is one area Enzo Maresca will have to address as we we'll need to learn how to control games, especially against weaker opposition in the Premier League because you could end up being punished when the game is wide open. And Madweke had loads of joy on the right side as it toyed with Aitnuri over and over again, leaving the defender helpless on several locations. Kudos must be given to him as he was able to play through the balls coming from the Wolves fans. He finally returned the lead, one of those moves that hasn't been common with Chelsea in the past. With the goalkeeper making some quick distribution, playing the ball long to the fast players we've got up front in Nicolas Jackson, in Kyle Mudrik, and Nani Madweke. This resulted in a well taken goal from no one else but Cole Cole Palmer. And just when we thought we were going to the halftime break with the lead, they once again exposed that lackluster defending from set piece situation. The second half was the best possible response we could expect from a Chelsea team. Taking full control of the game, it's Mikhail Mudrik coming off for Pedro Neto. Mikhail Mudrik is one of those players that needs tough love from the coach. He was given another opportunity to show what he can do on the pitch. He once again showed us he deserves to be on the bench. The introduction of Pedro Neto in the second half added an extra layer of dynamism to the Chelsea attack. His ability to stretch the play and hold the weights while causing Matt Doherty some problems gave Chelsea an advantage which Mikhail Mudrik was unable to offer in the first half. Nani Mandrike continued from here left off in the second half, scoring his career first hat trick in 14 minutes with all three goals created by Cole Palmer. Joao Felix wasn't left out of the party as he came on for his second Chelsea debut and finished off a lovely move created by Pedro Neto. And a win victory, especially against Wolves, to always build confidence for this team. The turning point in the game was early goal in the second half by Nani Madweke. In the second half, Enzo Fernandez was also key to how Chelsea controlled the game. He wasn't shy of going into tackles, especially against the physical Wolves midfield. He also made some switch of plays to the wingers on the left and on the right. There are rumours that Nani Madweke might leave Stamford Bridge this season, but he showed on Thursday and once again today that he is the man on the right wing for Chelsea because you don't get to score a hat-trick and be on the bench the following week. So he's one to look out for as the season goes by. Enzo Maresca was also able to try a few things after we had a commanding lead in the second half. To draw Felix partnering Paul Palmer up top on the pitch, both players constantly interchange positions, making it difficult for Wolves to track their movements. Paul Palmer in particular was instrumental in linking up play between the midfield and the attack. Chelsea's high press in the second half was also relentless forcing Wolves to make errors in their own half, leading to all three goals scored by Nani Madweke. Nicolas Jackson had a relatively good game, but question still remains about his discipline as he lost his goal when Matthew Skinner scored the equalizer in the first half. And I'm sure Enzo will have one or two words with him to keep his discipline in check. This comprehensive victory is significant for Chelsea. It shows our capability not just to win, but to win convincingly against the mid table opposition and also at one of the toughest grounds in the Premier League. The tactical flexibility and most especially the relentless press in the second half indicates that we are beginning to gel under this new system. How with players such as Nani Madweke, Cole Palmer, and Nicolas Jackson hitting form, the future looks bright. Our next challenge will be to show some level of consistency and also maintain this level of performance, especially the one we witnessed in the second half. So thanks for watching the Blue Spotlights. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, 
subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. 